will continue with the truth. Can no one be taught anything? Can no one understand the message? Must one teach barely winged toddlers, babies just taken from the breast, so that one has to use nursery rhymes? Za, la, za, 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 ka, la, ka, ka, la, ka, za, yeah, something, za, yeah, something. And I'm pretty sure I probably butchered the pronunciation of that. But this is where we get precept by precept, precept by precept, line by line, here a little, there a little. Now what happens is there are people um, who, who are doing the work, in my opinion. They're standing outside, they they rocking fringes, they trying to... Best and, and doing their due diligence to study his word and to live holy and teach others to do the same. You never see their women, which is good, and I'm pretty sure they're teaching their women to teach the children to do the same. So, much respect and honor to the Hebrew Israelite brothers that are on the corners. Um, I do agree with a lot of the doctrine, except for that whole race deal. Um, I do not believe no white man is going to worship me in heaven. And I do not believe no white man is the devil. I have had uh, most of my uh, demonic and hurtful and trauma experiences happen to me by no white people. You know what I mean? So I understand that the adversary is not some white guy. All right. Um, so in those different places, we do differ. But the work got to get done. And they preaching repentance. And this is the same thing I'm doing, too. But one thing I will disagree with is um, the hot the fact of teaching someone here a little, there a little, jumping all around the Bible, yelling one scripture out of context and jumping somewhere else, and yelling another scripture out of context is not the way it's done. As a matter of fact, I would submit to you that the false doctrine of prosperity uh, preaching, matter of fact, every false doctrine that has been birthed out of someone through these scriptures has come from someone piecing scriptures together and creating a doctrine. But the scripture tells us that we are not, we ought to rightly divide the word, right? As a skillful guy, right? As a skillful teacher, right? So so it doesn't tell us to combine the word, take this over here, take this over here and combine it. No, it tells us to divide it, which means that as you're going through, you take what you have in front of you and you decipher that. You don't take what you have in front of you Stand it alone, take something else, stand it alone, and then combine it and make a whole new doctrine. All right? And this is, that's what happens. And that's what these guys stand on the corner they do sometimes. So I have much respect for these men. I would, and I talk to these men about this, and they kind of don't see it this way. They believe that this tells them to teach precept by precept a little here, a little there. But what I'm trying to submit to you and everyone who may be watching is that that is kind of a wrong way to do it because all you're really doing, and you can see this when you watch these men, you keep everybody as a baby, as it is written, babies. So babies have to be taught this way. Babies have to teach this way, babies. And this is not something he wants to do. Must one teach barely winged toddlers? And that's what you see with these guys. You see like a guy maybe in his late 30s, maybe early 40s, maybe early late 20s. You have one guy who's a leader, then the rest are just babies yelling out scriptures. But not really. And so how we do it here is we, we take whole chunks of scripture. If you look at the, um, uh, 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 scroll down, we, we, I think we in, I don't know, part 20, 27, 28, I don't know. We are like 30 some parts in Isaiah and we just did chapter 28. And we're going through every single line. We're going through it line by line, precept by precept, but not here a little, there a little. As far as jumping around the scripture, that is how you teach the babies as it is written. And I think he's going to go on and say it. And he, doesn't, he, and he doesn't like teaching this way. Can one be taught anything? Because it's about teachings, right? Can no one be taught anything? Can no one understand the message? Must one teach? Like I said, about teaching. Teach barely winged toddlers. Who are they? Babies. And how they teach them? Precept by precept, precept by precept, line by line, here a little, there a little. But that's a nursery rhyme. 
why would you base your whole way of teaching men on a nursery rhyme? Do not base your way of teaching men, adults, men and women, do not base your way of teaching on nursery rhyme. Precept by precept, precept by precept, line by line, here a little, there a little is a nursery rhyme for babies who don't really understand because they barely are winning. And this ain't going to teach nobody nothing. It's going to keep people as babies. Let's continue verse 11. So with stammering lips and in a foreign accent, Yah will speak to his people. He once told his people it's time to rest. He did. The exhausted can rest. Now you can relax. But they wouldn't listen. So now the word of Yah from them comes. Right? And because of our disobedience, this is what happens. We get treated like babies. Right? We wouldn't listen. So now the word of Yah comes. Precept by precept. Precept by precept. Line by line. Here a little, there a little. And this is only because of what? Because we want to listen. So to teach someone and use this scripture as the basis of how you teach someone is a reflection of you not listening. As a reflection of wanting to keep that person a baby. All I'm doing is reading, yo. And I'm not some dude yelling out scripture at you, jumping around the scripture. This is right here. You see the page is not my face. Saying about me, oh, how many friends is I'm rocking? Look at the pages, bro. Don't flip the pages, bro. You ain't flipping pages, bro. You tripping. Flip the pages, bro. So now the word of Yah for them comes precept by precept, precept by precept, line by line, line by line. A little here, a little there. And what what is the end result of teaching this way? So that when they walk, they stumble backwards. And I'm broken and trapped and captured. So listen to the word of Yah, you scoffers. Mm -hmm. You hear me? I know y'all hear me, brother. You scoffers. Composing taunts for this people in Jerusalem. Listen. So when you teaching people. Line by line, precept by precept. Here a little, there a little. They're going to walk. But as they walk, they actually gonna stumble backwards. And this was a heavy one for me. You know, the whole time I'm going through the book of the, the, the prophecy of Isaiah, I'm thinking about 28. Because for me and, and a lot of the Hebrew Israelite guys I talk with, like this is like a deal breaker. These dudes swear that that's how you're supposed to teach. But that's a nursery rhyme. It's how you teach babies. It's how you, it's how you teach babies. And not only is how you teach babies, that's how you keep them stumbling backwards. Mm -hmm. He once told his people it's time to rest. The exhausted can rest. Now you can relax. But they wouldn't listen. So now, since you wouldn't listen, the word comes how? Precept by precept. This is a reflection of disobedience, bro. So why would you use it as a stance on how you teach it? Jumping all around the book. You got 20, maybe 30 core scriptures that you say every Saturday on some street corner. We eat, man, we eat, we eat full meals over here. Full, 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 full meals over here, bro. The whole thing. We're not Jumping around saying one verse and then actually ain't that how the church used to do it? The guy would get up there and say one scripture and just talk for two hours. So you have your, your lackey say one scripture and because you got friends on, because you in the crowd of 10 strong looking black men, you got to be right? No, nah, bro, you're wrong. You're teaching these men through nursery rhymes. He's a grown ass man you dealing with, bro. Quit teaching them through nursery rhymes. Sit down, slow down. Make these men meat eaters, bro. 
you got them thinking they meat eaters when really all you doing is nursery rhyme stuff. Just because you feel emotions do not mean that you partaking in meat. Say it again. Just because you feel emotion, which may be anger and hostility and rage, do not mean that you are eating meat. It really kind of means just a baby. Because your teacher, your boss, your leader, your bishop, your pastor, whatever it is to you, he teaching you a little and a little. And it's keeping you a baby. And it's keeping you stumbling backwards. Let those who have ears hear.